It's time for the old Nick Foster, and guess what? We're back on the way! Look what we got here, old Nick! Look! My name is Backyard! Look! Go all the way down here! Look at it! And now we have more back here! And in the name of the other yard! We're going to continue to walk back! Hey! Five inch litter! Nixon! Right there, going back! The water company is back here. Look at it, it looks real high! Man, boy, look at this! And this is an off view! They must be being flooded out there on Boomin' Morgan Street! Let's go around and see how high the water is. Coming out. Alright, let's go back. Look at him. Look at him. Like we're driving. Come through an alleyway. You see the whole body? We're actually driving. Going through a doorway. You're going to hit someone. Look at us. He's all uh, holding his breath. And then he's gonna get in it. Look! Right as we're driving! Look! He's right there! He's gonna go right through it! Look, hopefully he'll come back and have his license plate. This goes on because the police, the only police officer, the police chief, the state police. Richard County Sheriff Andy Hires, Deputy Sheriff, Secretary of State Justin White, and the police are not doing their job and allowing people to violate both vehicle traffic laws. And let's go this way. Go ahead. Let's go this way. We're gonna go. Look at it! Oh, I flooded in the driveway. Ah. Go ahead. Look at this! Now cars will have to turn down the side street, keep on down Main Street. Thanks, Mr. Thanks, Ray Bond! Thanks, Mayor Ray Bond! City Council members! For the great job you had done for all the voters who voted for you and the taxpayers within the city of Volney. And you too, Mark Lambert, you too, Kelly Hamby, you Tom Fernbacher, and all you we call council members for destroying this and not doing your job. And I hope, come this election, you individuals have brains. Look, this guy's gonna break the ball. It's a joke. Hey, think it's a joke. Now, each one of you that are doing this, is, yeah, look at that guy. He says, yeah, you're right. Of course I'm right. That's what was in the newspaper. It's all good on YouTube. Now, who's right? Brian James on the other second. You like to take care of this problem? You bet I will. I mean... I don't want each and every one of you two voters who go on the poll on Tuesday to ask you yourself this question. Who did you vote for? Did you vote for any of the four candidates for city council? You wasted your time, your vote, and it proves why people are remaining on government assistance, taxpayer money, and why 
Nothing gets done. Let's look at the individual. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do they think it's a joke? Look at this. It's a joke, right, Mayor Bond? City Council members? All that hard-earned taxpayers' money down there on Boom and Morgan, Sunshine Village. And what did you fix? Nothing! You just laid some concrete, the beauty up was there, and the uh, capacity with the rain waters of Sunshine Village is no bigger than it was before, and down on Morgan and Boom is no bigger than it was before. And this is why the flooding's continuing here and down there. So you waste your taxpayers' money. Hey, Mr. Bond, when you watch YouTube, don't forget to call thank me. we are called uh, being right and you being wrong, along with all the taxpayers and voters and city council members, everyone in the United States. There's only one right person, and that's Brian Taylor II. Come on. There we know. Yourself, uh, now, next time we call, do you want to complain about people being on SSI government assisting? You're the fault. But so elected officials don't get in office without your stupid vote and refusing to vote smart and intelligent. Instead, you vote for hate crime. You just want to vote for people who will let you violate the law and do whatever you please. This is not what Americans built upon. It's time. Let this public know, and America know as well the world, we can no longer tolerate this type of action. And Mr. Bond, you should resign right now, and I'll take over the spot as mayor of all the Illinois. So we at least have one confident person upon who's with intelligent knowledge that can run a government, not just within local jurisdiction, but every branch of government to the President of the United States. See? That nut? Right there? You got his license plate. You see it? Come on. There's another one. See? You got his license plate. See? Come on. Keep it up. Going on the properties here, you see them? See them? How they're going up on people's properties? They're doing this delivery, Mr. Bond. And Mr. Bond, if I want, and these other people, we can take you to court, the city of only. You know I can, because I don't even have to have an attorney walk into court. Because right now, this is purposely being done by the city, because the city is violating people's rights. By purposely, not only refusing to fix and take care of these problems and letting people violate these laws and not just off the streets. You go to play. This type of behavior should actually be done down in the south with blacks. But here in the city of Oregon, yeah, I guess you can hear people. If only even you know, for the whites to uh white blacks retreated. The IQ level, remember that? You claim that uh, black people were stupid and dumb. You need to take a look at yourself, only in Illinois. This is what stupid and dumb is. Remember that, Mr. Bond. You need to test your interest to get out of office right now and have me take over. I'll set the appointment in the city of the airball. See? Coming up. Onto the driveway here. Look. So far. It's up to the drive. Look! The water goes all the way up. To the garage. People are actually 
going down the road doing this. And the police haven't been by yet. The city employees, the city of Olney are not doing their job to close off Main Street. The mayor of Olney, Ray Bond, has not done his job to order uh, city employees to get out of here and, and close off the streets before someone gets hurt. It's already in a hazard area. No other council members. And I will be holding every one of you on the city council, the mayor, bond, the city manager, the city sheriff, law enforcement, city crew, all accountable. This is what's been going on since I lived here since 1985, September 1985, and it's just got way far worse. And they just don't care. So, people never moved to the city of Olney, Illinois. They think they're a great community, but in reality, they're the worst. So if you really want to be free, equal, this is not the place to come to. Now, if you want to commit criminal activity and criminal crimes, it's a perfect community to come to. The police will just do whatever you please, the state's attorney, unless they want to fall charge against you frivolously, they'll even use you call the lie to the police or state's attorney's office that you commit crimes against other people who are innocent, like me, who go after people like you. This person's been sitting over there for a long time, just turned out in the road. And this is O'Neill Factor. I just want to remind you. There's no spin. It's nothing but truth. And you can see it. Right here. We bring you the truth. And the thing about it was, only the O'Neill put in the paper, published today, that I said about the city of only wasting the money. And for the flooding problems continuing and everything, because if oh, that probably fix it, it waste your taxpayers' money. So, Next time you want to cry about people being on a demonstration at the side, remember this big flood here that you wasted your taxpayers' money on because you elected injured, uneducated, intelligent, not intelligent people into public office to run down your city. What are you going to do, swim in it? <laughs> Look at these nuts. Out in the middle of the street. Cars going by. They're going to hit them and kill them. They don't care.